WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, excuse me, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets right around flat territory right now. You have S&Ps positive by two points, trading at 3197. You've got NASDAQ positive by six, trading at 8612. Dow Jones positive by 16 points, trading at 28,299. We'll start the things off this morning. We're going to jump off to the VIX. Let me put this chart on a little bit shorter time frame. The VIX with a 12 handle this morning. As you'd expect, markets right near record territory. The VIX flirting with an 11 on Monday, 12.06 as we march. This the full last full week coming into the Christmas holiday. And man, we're almost in vacation mode as this market just continues to creep higher. Start things off. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. Currently trading 28,294 just off the session highs that we had kind of between about 4 a.m., and 8.30 a.m., just about 20 points higher than where we are right now. NASDAQ 100, just reaching that pre-market high as well, 86.16, about six points off that level. S&P 500 trading, trading at 31.96, almost made it up to 3,200. You back things up a bit, you can see yesterday and even Tuesday, early in the day, climbing to 3,203 for the high. Crude oil, $60.57. We get the EIA number at 10.30 a.m. this morning for crude inventories. Gold pulling back a bit over the last two and a half hours. Gold is up there at about $14.83. Trades down almost $10, now trading at $14.77. And the euro U.S. dollar trading at $111.18. In terms of what else you have happening out there, a pretty historic day as you have the House set to vote on impeachment for the president would be only the third time that a president would be impeached. That would be in the House. You would see a trial proceed in the Senate, which may happen in January. <clears throat> Excuse me. Weekly mortgage applications dropping 5% as rates flatten. Pretty interesting story out here. I was reading this morning. Burger King in a marketing ploy going to give away coupons for free impossible Whoppers to anybody who is delayed traveling during the holiday season. You're out there, you're traveling. Unfortunately, delays are bound to happen. You can enjoy a nice meat-free burger. And FedEx, the slide continuing. Earnings last night, they cut their guidance down almost 7% this morning on a cut of that forecast looking to open about 151. Stay tuned, folks. We got Basil Chapman filling in for Larry Pesavento live at 9 a.m. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.